We serve a good God. I encourage you to present your request to Him as we pray. You can experience miracles in your life when you invite God to intervene. Say this prayer every day until your miracle is granted. This prayer works even in situations that seem impossible. You can always approach God with confidence if you trust in His Son, Jesus Christ. So don't hesitate to pray about anything, including miracles. Pray this way three times every day. You will receive a miracle soon. O oh God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. Father, help me remember today that you are who you say you are. You are holy, mighty, and powerful. You are my creator, redeemer, and comforter. You are gracious, merciful, and loving. You are my way and the truth I need. You are my hope for the future. You are the God of miracles, the one for whom nothing is impossible. And Father, I need a miracle and so I lay my problem before you asking for your grace and mercy. Please strengthen me today and help me keep my focus on you rather than on this thing that is overwhelming me. Please strengthen me and give me everything I need, so whatever you decide, even if you don't grant this miracle, I will rest secure knowing my hope is in you alone. Father, I trust your will. I am secure in your perfect love and I will praise you now and forever and even then. It will never be enough. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Your miracle is on the way. Never lose faith in God. God loves us and we can trust him that his plan is good. His plan might mean pain and loss and disappointment but we can trust His plan. Even if we don't hear God or see an answer, we know that God hears our prayers. By going to Him, we are handing over our burdens and fears. He loves to hear from us and just the act of prayer makes our load lighter. Welcome, my name is Darius and today we will say a very powerful prayer of deliverance. Join me in prayer right now if you believe in the mighty power of God. You will clean all negative energy, envy, obstacles, blockages and stagnation in your life. This is a very powerful prayer by Padre Pio, to cleanse the negative energies that prevent the permanent flow of money and healing. Watch this video until the end and remember that God is life, truth, light, wisdom, love, and grace. Put everything in the hands of God. I invite you to cleanse, consecrate and protect your life now. Stay with me, Lord, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how easily I abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength, that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my light, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much, and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength, so that I will not stop along the way and for that, I need you. It is getting late and death approaches, I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, 
Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustains me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus, I do not ask for divine consolation, because I do not merit it, but the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you and ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for loving me. I thank you for sending your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, to the world to save and set me free. I trust in your power and grace that sustain and restore me. Loving Father, touch me now with your healing hands. For I believe that your will is for me to be well in mind, body, soul, and spirit. Cover me with the most precious blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Cast anything that should not be in me. Root out any unhealthy and abnormal cells. Open any blocked arteries or veins and rebuild and replenish any damaged areas. Remove all inflammation and cleanse any infection by the power of Jesus' precious blood. Let the fire of your healing love pass through my entire body to heal and make new any diseased areas so that my body will function the way you created it to function. Touch also my mind and my emotion, even the deepest recesses of my heart. Saturate my entire being with your presence, love, joy and peace and draw me ever closer to you every moment of my life. And Father, fill me with the Holy Spirit and empower me to do your works so that my life will bring glory and honor to your holy name. I ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Opening Prayer Heavenly Father, I ask you to place a hedge of protection around me. It hides me from the enemy, familiar spirits, any and all demon spirits. Making it difficult, if not impossible for them to effectively track or trace me in the realm of the spirit. There shall be no perforations or penetrations to these hedges of protection according to your word in Psalm 91. I know that you will answer this prayer because I love you and I trust in your name only. I pray that your blood Lord Jesus will cover me and all that you have given me. That the enemy will not have access to what has been given to me. Thank you for your divine protection in Jesus name. Amen. Psalm 91 Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord, He alone is my refuge, my place of safety, He is my God, and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with His feathers. He will shelter you with His wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, 
these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes, and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras, you will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer, I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Amen. Say this miracle prayer daily and it will change your life. You can expect God's miracles to start manifesting very soon. Jesus Miracles Prayer The Lord has conferred upon me every blessing that heaven has to offer. His eyes are trained upon me, and He relentlessly watches over me to ensure my safety. He is my ever-present helper who supports me in all that I do. His face shines upon me to enlighten my way and show me mercy, kindness and an abundance of favor. In Jesus, He has given me His permanent stamp of approval and has granted me continuous peace. My Father is not a man that would lie to me. He does not shrink back from any of His promises. What He has said, He does. What He has spoken comes to pass in my life. No enemy has any power to hinder the Lord's commanded blessing. Therefore, no matter what my situation is, or who comes against me, I will continue to prosper and reap harvests in abundance. Father, I choose to be a person of my word. If I say it, I will do it. When I make a pledge, I pay it. I will not go back on any vow. I will keep my word. I will be honest in all of my dealings, whether with God or with men. When I give my word, I intend to keep it. The Lord my God blesses all the works of my hands. My walk in this earth is as if I am walking through a great wilderness. The world system is so contrary to my new nature that I am like a stranger in a strange land. But this is not a fearful thing for me, for my Father blesses me abundantly in the land, and I lack no good thing. Father, thank you for loving me. I rest completely secure in your tender care. When my enemies rise against me to curse me and to do me harm, you turn their curses into blessings. You have commanded that I am blessed, and in Jesus, nothing can change that. Father, I thank you that you have commanded your blessing upon me. No weapon, sorcery, or divination can prosper over me. I am under the commanded blessing of Almighty God. I am precious to my Father. He does not allow the curses of the ungodly to overtake me. Instead, He turns their every curse into a blessing. God has commanded His blessing on all of my storehouses and accounts. As I follow His ways, they are blessed without fail. Thank you, Father, for the provisions of our covenant. You have freely given me all that I need for success in life. I trust your word. I know that all of your blessings have come upon me, and they shall overtake me. I am blessed in the city and blessed in the country. My children are blessed at my side. My production increases unfailingly under your anointing. Everything in my care is fruitful and multiplies. I am blessed when I come in and blessed when I go out. When my enemies rise against me they are smitten before my face. They rise against me one way but flee from me in seven ways. You have commanded blessings on all of my storage places and my accounts. They must increase, for you have commanded your blessings upon them. I am set apart unto you, Father. You alone are my provider. 
you have charge of my life. You open to me your good treasure to give rain to my land and to bless all of the works of my hands. Everything I set my hand to do is brought to unfailing success. I have no fear of any job I am given, your anointing is upon me. And so it is, Amen. Let's ask the Lord Jesus Christ to enter our hearts and bless our lives. I will be standing in faith with you as we pray together today. The Lord wants to give you His presence, His love and hope. It doesn't matter what situation you're going through. The Lord will never reject you and He will never abandon you. Jesus will always be your best friend. On this day you will achieve everything you set out to do, because with God nothing is impossible. Get all thoughts of doubt out of your mind. Believe with all your heart and hold on to the promises of God. Trust that your future will be wonderful, and you will receive good things. Don't give up and never stop believing. Keep trusting and live each day with the certainty that God opens new doors of blessing. Let God take full control. He is your healer. God is the one who protects and cares for you at all times, and in all places. Rest in His arms. Remember that God has the last word, that His power is unique, and that He can change everything for you. Pray this prayer. Loving Father, help me to cultivate spiritual disciplines, so I am more able to receive what you have to tell me, and more willing to do what you require. May I not only come to you with my needs, my praise, and my thanksgiving but make a habit of spending time in worshipful listening. Help me not allow the distractions of social media and the busyness of life drown out your still small voice. Help me be guided in all things by you, rather than my own imperfect judgment. Let your spirit speak words of wisdom and guidance over my life today. You promised a comforter who will be with me every step of the way to guide me and supply what I need. Be with me, Father. Help me speak the right words, make the right choices, and choose the right opportunities. Making decisions can be confusing. Holy Spirit, don't allow me to make mistakes. Help me determine which direction will open the right doors and cause productive relationships to flourish. Amen. Today, leave behind everything that has caused pain in your life. It's time to move forward and enjoy everything that God wants to put in your hands. Live every minute of this day to the fullest, because it will be a day full of hope, victory, blessing, happiness, health, love peace, and abundance. God will move everything in your favor and give you new opportunities. Nothing and no one can stop the miracles He has for you. On this day, don't worry. Do not fear, because God is with you. If you liked this video, subscribe, and leave your comment, I can do everything in God. Welcome, my name is Darius, and today we will say a miraculous prayer to change your life. Watch this entire video and stand in faith with me as I pray with you. The world is full of opportunities. The information in this video can completely change your life. I will reveal to you the secret prayer that is capable of creating miracles in your life. If you use it, I am sure that your life will change completely. You have nothing to lose. Let's begin. Start by using active gratitude. Give thanks for all that has been given to you. This way you will attract more things to be grateful for. Say right now. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Secret Prayer for Money Thank you for my life and everything in it. I know that my life is a wonderful gift and I am grateful for it. 
I am so rich and fulfilled that I have an abundance of money to spend and share, today and forever. I know that true prosperity includes perfect health, perfect wealth, and perfect happiness. Lord of Heaven's armies, I cannot express how good you have been to me. You have heard my prayer and answered me. I know that in all situations, you are good. Keep me close to you so that I may grow in my trust of you. I hold on to the joy of being transformed to be like your glorious body and being with you forevermore. Amen. Type Amen if you believe in miracles. Your blessing is on the way. Watch this important message right now. Watch this video until the end and listen to this important message. If you start the day saying these words, you will see how miracles happen. The universe is mental and what you think manifests. The world is a reflection of the image you have of it. Therefore, if you change the image you have of the world, you can change the reflection you perceive. Be certain that we are prosperous, that we live in an abundant universe, that our Father is rich, almighty and that we are capable of creating, attracting and manifesting opulence and prosperity. Vibrate high, through the positive emotions that are the great transforming wealth of our reality. You have to leave all your burdens to God, before starting the exercise, to be able to vibrate high in the same frequency as what you are affirming. Generally, these negative thoughts that we have impregnated in our subconscious, have us trapped and do not let us move forward. Follow these three steps every day. Deliver all your burdens to God with prayer. Exercise the powerful and positive affirmations, believing and seeing yourself as you want to be. Express infinite gratitude for what you already have and for what is to come, as if you already had it today. Opening Prayer Thank you my Lord, for the faith that you have given me in you. I am here in front of your Divine Presence, showing you my love, faith, gratitude and joy. I know that when I talk to you, believing in you and your promises, everything is resolved. For this reason I activate the love of the universal power, which cleanses everything that could prevent my nature of abundance. I thank you, my God, because your promises are fulfilled in my life and in everyone around us. It is done. Thank my Lord. Amen. Now, say these four words. I deserve great things. Believe it as you affirm it. I deserve great things. Remember that words create thoughts. The repetition of words becomes beliefs, and beliefs create feelings. If you want to create abundance in your life, the easiest way is to start with your words. Abundance is waiting for you, you just need to be in this great vibrational mood. The universe is full of abundance and is waiting to give you what is yours. Say the following affirmations.
The blood moon eclipse, which caused the fear and awe of ancient people, is bringing change and divine enlightenment today. The Bible relates this type of eclipse to the end of the world, since it is one of the signs that the final judgment is drawing near. There are several passages that describe it, for example, in Acts 2.20. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. Also in Revelation 6:12, There was a great earthquake. The sun turned black like a sackcloth made of goat hair, the whole moon turned blood red, and the stars in the sky fell to earth. But the spiritual meaning of this blood moon is born from the energy of the sun and the moon. This is a cosmic seed on the threshold of a new awakened consciousness. It is the purification of the instincts, it is the connection with your inner being. Are you ready to activate the awakening of this cosmic event? Are you ready for ascension to the highest form of existence? Listen to the divine light codes hidden in these verses. And go beyond your limits and achieve the cosmic consciousness of God. Ephesians 5:14. For anything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. Affirm, I am awake. Proverbs 4 6-7. Do not forsake wisdom, and she will protect you, love her, and she will watch over you. Wisdom is supreme. Therefore get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Affirm. I am wisdom. Matthew 5:14. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Affirm. I am full illumination. Colossians 3:14. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Affirm. I am love. Psalm 51 1 Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion blot out my transgressions. Affirm. I am compassion. Psalm 23 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Affirm. I am comfort. John 8 32 Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Affirm. I am truth. Jeremiah 30:17. But I will restore you to health and heal your wounds. Affirm. I am healing. Type Amen if you feel abundant. Remember to like this video, and, give thanks. Watch this important message right now.